Hi, it's Joshua Chisler with a new episode of Collabable. Today I'll be showing you how to do color correction in Adobe Premiere Element 7. And I'm going to be showing you a little scene using the effect with my little cousin Rocky here. Now, as you can see, as you can see um, I bruised up his face, I added a scar, and I blackened his eye. So, now we're going to show you what the scene looks like with color correction. Okay, so this is how you're going to do it. I have a clip here in Adobe Premiere, and this is the original clip. Okay, so that was my cousin. This is the original file before it was all edited. So let's find a good face here. So, um, basically, all you got to do is go to Effects for that. And the first uh, effect you're going to add is clip. Now, I used to use crop, but I figured out that that wasn't the best choice to use. Now, this is just for the aspect ratio, the little black bars on top. So, I use this in all my videos because it, it just adds to it. So, take the clip left and the clip right to zero. Now, if you don't want too much of a widescreen, now this is completely optional. You do not have to have these black bars, but I'm going to. Uh, you can have it at 1010, which is perfectly fine. I always use 12.5. Well, I guess it'll go right to 13, but that's fine. So, I have my widescreen shot now. Then, I, I'll type, or just find the color balance, RBG. Drag that on. Now, instead of having these settings, I'm just going to write my own in. And the color balance, the red, I'm going to change to 85, the green to just 100, and the blue to 119. Okay, so that gives me my color. This is the cool color effect right that I'm doing. After, I'll show you the warm. Now I got to go to brightness and contrast, which is at the top. Add that in there. And negative 12. And eight. So that's basically the shot for the color correction of the cool. And this will work in any other shot for basic lighting or any type of shot that I guess, but not too dark because um, it might go really, really dark. Now, for the warm color effect, all you got to do is change the value of the red to 116 and the blue to 82. That'll give you your warm color effect and you can also just adjust them if you don't want too much of an effect you can just change it a little lower like that um, maybe keep the brightness and contrast a little back to the original and it won't make too much of a difference and that's basically how you do the color correction thanks for watching the tutorial um, I'll see you next time go check out my main uh, channel which is youtube.com slash jumper360 Go subscribe there, too, to see all my other work, and subscribe to Clappable. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.